Welcome back, and in this video we will be introducing model-based scheduling. So we've just subdivided these slabs, I'm going to close the subdivision window, and look for the tasks. Now we have the slab on deck, first floor area 3, 2, and these seem to be already divided tasks, so I'm going to ignore them for now, although you can definitely assign each element to the relevant task. I'll just unload these by selecting them, and from the 3D tab, click Unload Selected. Notice they are still selected in the indicator at the bottom, so I'll hit the escape key and find the task for the slab on grade. And there's the task for the slab on grade. I can double click to center it and it's three days long. However, it's only one task. Now let's say we want to subdivide this into multiple tasks in the order we click on from the model. So I'm going to click in the following order just to show that the order matters and then right click create tasks under selected task and you can see from the icons here that under is different from below and that the created tasks will be children of the selected tasks so I'll click on that it'll ask me if I want to create a separate task for each resource I'll say yes and we'll subdivide these, this three-day activity into four four-hour activities and then one day activity because it's rounding up otherwise it would have been equal durations and these are all using the appearance profile that was last selected and in the order I clicked on. And this is a very brief introduction to model-based scheduling. We'll look at more advanced applications in future videos. I just want to show one more thing. So I'll undo this, uh, I'll undo the last transaction and we'll see what you can do if you want to do model-based scheduling but still want to for example, checker the pores so that you won't have adjacent pores. You can click on uh, one, two, three, and then right click, create tasks under selected tasks, and yes, and subdivide this into three equal activities of one day duration. And then you can assign to the first activity, for example, this one, and then add to the second activity, this one over here. And then we have something like a checkered pour as we're pouring the slabs. So that's a combination of assigning and creating from the model geometry. Also note the name of the activities are the name of the resources. So if you've been naming your resources well, then that's you'll get well-named activities. Otherwise, just say pour area, for example, one and two or and four here, pour area. Uh, two and five and then pour area three and just quickly visually check that looks right and in the next video we'll look at some more scheduling techniques and then more advanced applications of model based scheduling If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.